in this video i want to show you everything you need to know about any asset that is launched on the xrp ledger what you see in the screen is a tweet from the david swartz of uh, ripple he is the cto of ripple technology and he explained everything anyone needs to know about the xrp ledger i'm sure these information are in the uh, repo.org but a lot of people don't know this and i want to also create an awareness so whatever you see that is launched on the xrp ledger must isn't is likely not a cryptocurrency okay it's just an asset so the only time you can define it as a cryptocurrency is when they have given up the ability to freeze that particular asset all right so let's read through this tweet and know exactly what he is trying to say for instance he said given the increasing popularity of issued assets on the xrp ledger and the various airdrops going on it is probably a good idea to remind people that xrp ledger permits issuers to freeze assets that they issue if you choose to hold an asset that someone has issued, unless they have disabled this feature, they can prevent you from transferring the asset other than destroying it. They can also unfreeze after a freeze. So once you are purchasing any asset which someone else issued on the XRP ledger, you should be aware that that person can freeze or unfreeze your asset. This means you cannot transfer the asset from one wallet to another or you cannot sell it where you want to sell. Okay, so why could they uh, build in such a powerful feature into this XRP ledger? Could it be that they uh, deliberately do it? Yes, it was deliberate, but for a particular purpose. Here is the tweet where he explained it. He says, this is a powerful feature that permits the XRP ledger to be used to represent and transfer legal ob obligations. Legal obligations can be frozen by actions outside the ledger, such as a court order, and the ledger needs some way to represent these exter those external actions. But before you think of an issued asset as behaving like a cryptocurrency, make sure you've checked whether or not the issuer has disabled freezing. If they haven't disabled it, their issued asset isn't like cryptocurrencies. All right. So this particular um, feature on the XRP ledger functions like uh, renouncing of a contract ownership on other blockchain. Okay. So on XRP ledger, they called it a freezing feature. Okay. So here he says nobody issued xrp so xrp can never be frozen on the xrp ledger but all assets other than xrp are issued and their issuers can freeze them unless they have irrevocably given up that right so when he says nobody has issued xrp it means that xrp is the native token of the xrp ledger and by this, it means that XRP is running on its own blockchain, so no one can freeze it. But any other asset which is um, issued on the XRP ledger, it functions as a token. It is not on its um, native uh, uh, ledger or native blockchain. This means that that particular asset can be frozen, except the founders or the developer or the issuer has given up that particular right okay so he also said if there is a project that's not being forthcoming and honest about this please call them out and ask them to give up the ability ability to freeze if it seems like this was just an oversight on their part so before investing on any asset that is issued on the xrp ledger please make sure that the company or the owner or the issuer of that particular asset has given up the ability to freeze so it is a requirement for any asset or any token which is issued on the xrp ledger 
to give up the ability to freeze. If they have not given up that ability, it is a potential scam. Okay, I just hope you understood all these things. So, um, David Suarez also said, an issuer can abandon an asset entirely, preventing anyone from using it. This can be done temporarily or permanently. Currently, the only way to give up this ability is to abandon the issuing account by setting its regular key to zero and disabling its master key. So, um, I just want to remind you this so that whenever you are investing on any asset that is issued on XRP to XRP ledger, you should make sure that all these things are in order. If not, maybe you should be ready to lose your money to some scammers who are smart. All right. So I just hope that you understood everything I just mentioned. If you still have questions after listening to this, please use the comment section and ask your question. I'm ready to answer you anytime I see your questions. Okay, please, if you have not subscribed, please do so right now. And don't forget to give this video a thumb up if you loved it. Thank you so much for watching till this end. Have a lovely day.